Hello everyone, my name is Jess. Welcome back to the Seasonal Storm. And today we're doing something a little bit different than our normal normal seasonal DIYs and decor. Today I'm bringing you a little bit more into my world and we're jumping into some spring fashions from the Western industry for 2022. If that interests you, I'll see you in just a second. Now before we get started with this unboxing, I'd first like to highlight my personal favorite small business, one that I have a lot of skin in the game with, and that is Circle S, a Western Marketplace in Gardnerville, Nevada. Bailey has this super cute shirt. This one was from last year and I've loved this shirt. Um, I love that it has details that say rodeo down the skull. And I just love how simple it is. It is a v-neck tee and I think it's so cute to layer even as we're transitioning out of the cold, cold parts of winter, it's still seven degrees here, um, into later spring. But I'm bringing you four new businesses today that I've actually never shared with you guys before. So I'm so excited to jump right into that. Now, for those of you who don't know, I actually have a fairly extensive marketing background and most of my work is with small businesses in the Western world. And a lot of those are small business and boutique fashion. Now I did step away from doing um, brand content work a long time ago, but I've kind of accepted the opportunity to jump back into that. So even though I did purchase all of these, most of these items do come from brands who routinely re release coupon codes and discount codes. And in future videos, I will be sharing some of those with you. So we're going to jump right into it and uh, let's unbox these packages. This first one comes to us from Baja Ranch out of Fontana, Kansas. I've worked with this brand in the past and this particular item is a really cute skirt. Now before we jump into that, I love how pretty much every single package comes with some form of unique packaging inside, some little flyers, like she has really cute return forms, but she also always puts these in with her packaging, um, which just show how some of the items are being styled or give you a discount code for future purchases. But this one is a really cute skirt and I love that it has this bandana style print. This is a size medium and even though this does tie to tighten it and adjust it a little bit, you'll actually see it's a faux wraparound. So your base skirt is your skirt, which I do love that because there's no real risk of um, wind or anything trying to take it away from you. So like I said, this is a medium. I'm 5'8 and I weigh about 150 pounds. Um, so I'll go try this one on and I'll show a more extended clip of that. But this is it right out of the bag. Um, and it's absolutely adorable. I think that even with this t-shirt, it would be cute, but I would probably style this with a white top or you could even do red for like 4th of July or Memorial Day. Um, and this one also I think would look great with a variety of shoes. You go for a tall boot as we're headed out of winter and into spring, maybe over some tights. Um, you could go with a cute short ankle booty and a longer sweater. You could go once it's summertime, pretty much any shoe you can imagine, sandals, boots, a cute pair of sneakers. Um, so overall, love this one, obsessed. Let's go try it on. Okay, so I first wanted to show this styled more for, I would say, spring than how I'm gonna style it for transitional winter. And I just have this styled really casually. So you can see the colors go perfectly with this t-shirt from, again, Circle S. And the skirt itself isn't overly tight. So I'd say it's a very modest cut, definitely probably a little shorter than some people are comfortable with. I'm personally fine with it. And then as you can see, I have it styled with just some taller boots. And overall, I think it's really, really cute. I think that this is great even potentially for classroom. If you're a teacher, this would be fine in pretty much any office. You could throw just a navy blue blazer over this and I think you could get away with it. Bringing a little bit of a Western vibe to your more office type style. I'm gonna show you with two different styles of sweater. So you have your base sweater, right? And I'm gonna take this one. And this one is from the brand, I have this one all winter. Fantastic Fawn, um, they're just a wholesaler. They're sold in lots of boutiques. And this is just kind of a taupey pink 
longer cardigan and even though it's a different color you can see it has really nice coverage and even over a tee maybe with a wild rag or a big chunky jewelry this is just a really simple it's a slight contrast but overall it's really cute and very cozy but you can still see maybe a graphic tee or a different blouse underneath it now the other thing you could do is you could take a chunkier much chunkier sweater this is a really good winter sweater i don't remember which boutique this came from but the wholesaler is and the way um could not say that again <laughs> and as you can see if you just leave your sweater untucked this is very blah this is not cute at all but if you do a french tuck i don't know if you guys watch queer eye on um, Netflix or any show pretty much that has tan as a stylist. Um, the French tuck is cute. You can even tuck it all the way, but I think with a fun concho belt, this would be really, really cute, especially if you had a fun wild rag to go with it. Really fun. This really cozies it up, and this definitely helps with transition when we're of a springy summer skirt into the end of winter. So huge fan, love this one. The next one on the list comes to us from Warden, Montana, and this is from Follow Your Arrow. And I followed this brand on Instagram for a long time. And again, it comes with a little tiny note and just some interesting materials. So sometimes they add, they send with your receipt, like a thank you for shopping with us. We generally do stuff like that from Circle S. So I love materials like that. And then this one is a romper and this is called the journey romper and it's a medium and it's in this kind of like i believe they call it olive but this feels a little bit more on the blue side um, it does snap in the front across your bust area um, so if you didn't need it snapped you could easily unsnap it or remove that um, it also has a little bit of shearing on the shoulders as well as at the waist and that has cute little flouncy shorts that do have a finished hem. And does it have pockets? It does have pockets. So that is always a winning piece when anything has pockets. And I love the color. I think this color is so cute, headed into spring. Um, again, though, this is a really light linen-y material, so I probably wouldn't wear this in the winter time, but uh, let's go try it on. Okay, so this is what our super cute little romper looks like on. I have it styled again with just some tall boots. For me, because I am so tall and leggy, um, I like to have something to break up just the long expanse of legs. Um, <laughs> now, it is really cute to me, kind of uh, the shape-wise, because I have kind of boxy shoulders. Reminds me a little bit of scrubs. Um, so we're gonna accessorize this, but I just wanna show you the garment as is before I add anything to it. It has pockets, it has nice full coverage in the back. Um, so this is not one, I know how sometimes with rompers they can be a little bit short. This is not one of those super comfy. Um, you can tell you're not gonna get hot in this. Now, because we're a long way out from spring, uh, I wanna show you how you can transition it. So first up, before I grab a sweater, I will show you, I feel like this one does need something through the middle and I felt like it needed a belt. So I'm just grabbing a belt. This one does not have another tie on it, so I guess I'm going to tuck it into the side. I'll have to fix that later. But yeah, with a belt, especially to help break up just the expanse, I feel like that's really cute. Really big fan. Also, my mom made this necklace for me for Christmas. Thanks, mom. Um, <laughs> so yes, big fan of this. Now, I'm going to grab a sweater, and most people would probably just do exactly what I'm going to do which is sweater over the top. So, you know, if it's a little cold in the morning, you can still have a little fun pop of leg as the seasons are starting to change towards spring, right? And then you have this little cinched waist in the middle. Now, one of the things I loved when I bought this sweater is they actually had it styled. And again, this sweater was not part of the haul. I don't even remember which boutique I bought this sweater from, quite frankly. It's probably better about writing that down. You button just like one button. You can belt it. And I know this feels a little bit roby, but trust me, it'll be super cute. So that's fun. So instead of having like a little sundress or something underneath, having a romper means that you can definitely do more with it. So that's really cute like it is here. But if you unbutton it and you leave it open, so to do this, I would tuck my edges in a little bit when I bring my belt around. So 
tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Bring your belt. Tighten your belt. So again, you can see that you still have the warm and comfort of having a sweater, but again, you can now see your cute little romper a little bit more. And again, you need to finagle this a little bit in a mirror, but I don't have a mirror in here. I'm just looking at my viewfinder. But overall, really cute. Love this romper. Let's go ahead. Now the next two actually both come from Phil Rich out of Penrose, Colorado. I love their packaging. Normally I try to open them not on camera because I don't think anyone wants to hear that. Ooh, more leopard. And this one, oh, this one's really cute. This is a cow print skirt. It is a midi length, but it does have a little bit of a slit here. It's really stretchy material. And I, this is actually originally by Rowdy Crowd Clothing. Um, and this was, this is small, but I think because it has so much stretch, we should be fine. So I would probably style this with neutrals. Um, I don't really feel like I would go anything crazy bold, but you could do like a really fun, like pop of red on your top or something like that. So let's go style this, probably with some tall boots, maybe some booties, I don't know. We'll see how this one looks. Now this, this is probably one of my favorite things yet. I think that this is a fantastic winter transitional skirt. I think you could really use this skirt for sure year round. As you can see, it does have a fairly high slip. It does come up about mid thigh, but it is a midi length skirt. I do have it styled with a longer boot. So from the longer side, especially, it sits a lot more conservatively with just a little pop of something off to my left side. Excuse the hiccups. Now before I add a bigger sweater to this, to show you some of the possibilities, I am gonna belt it again, just to show you that right now, I do feel like if you can see this, you have this kind of stretchy line. Some people might not like the little pouchy that happens here. So I'm gonna take, might be this size, this is a size down item. I'm wearing a small, normally in mediums and dresses now, I fit like an eight. Um, so if I'm fitting a small as an eight, <laughs> I would definitely say size down. Um, so I just pop this little belt over the top. I could probably even go one tighter on my belt. And again, I don't have an extra loop for that, so we're gonna have to just tuck it for now and call it good. But that with maybe a big silver cuff, this is a really, really nice date night outfit. I, I definitely see like a Valentine's date night, maybe a birthday type thing. I would say the slit might be too much for your office, at least any office I've ever worked in. Now I know the world's changing, other places might be cool with that, but in my opinion, this might be a little bit much. But I think because this hits so high-waisted, you have to have a cropped style sweater. So I'm gonna grab the same chunky sweater we already showed, which is this guy. And again, the coziest of sweaters. I think this would also be really cute with a chambray button down. I don't have one in here right now, but I'm kind of regretting that I didn't grab one. Oh man, we love when our bangs are in our face. Okay, so let me grab my big necklace. Again, my mom made me this, so I can't tell you where to buy it because she doesn't sell them. Um, and I'm gonna take this sweater. Now, if I just left it out, it would be a little bit frumpy. Definitely not gonna do that. So I'm gonna take the bottom part of my sweater and I'm gonna just simply roll it. And I roll all the way to the back and then I tuck in ever so slightly and then I pull it out a little bit. So you can still see the hint of a belt buckle, but we've not completely taken away. And from the back, it's pretty much seamless. I love this. I think that this is so nice. This material is really nice. This would pair really nicely with some black tights or some chocolate tights as well. I think even a higher heel boot with this skirt would be really beautiful. This to me is definitely more of a dressing up type skirt. My only issue is I wish the inside wasn't just white, but honestly that's okay because when you do have something with a leg slit, you tend to pop that leg anyway. Overall, 10 out of 10, big fan. Now this one also came from Phil Rich. I already opened this bag because it was bursting at the seams when it arrived. And that's because it has two items in it. First, keeping with our cow print, we have these really fun shorts. 
And I feel like these look really big. These are also from Rowdy Crowd Clothing. These are a size medium. They're just like a fun like jogger, like running short. These are really silky. You could honestly sleep in these. I probably will. They also have a pocket though. So I feel like we could even dress this up because even though they kind of look like a running short and they have like that um, half hitch on the side, I feel like honestly with the right accessories, you could really make these a cute day outfit. So I love these shorts. So let's try them on and see if there's cute Someone on. I thought a running style pair of shorts could be so cute. And you can see that for shorts, they're definitely, I would say they're a mid-length short. They're not too short short. I think just about anybody could wear them. And honestly, I don't think these are the type of shorts I would go running in. I think these are the type of shorts I would dress up to go do something cute. So again, I just have them with tall boots right now just because I'm not gonna go dig all of my boots out. And I just have them with a simple long sleeve. And this to me is a very transitional, but like fun weekend type outfit. Maybe you're going shopping with your friends. Maybe you're going out to happy hour. I don't know what you're doing, but you're having a fun time. I think you could throw pretty much any <laughs> like soft shell type jacket with this, maybe a fun sneaker. Um, I know a lot of Western brands are coming out with really fun cowgirl style prints. I think you could do a lot with these shorts and they are so so unbelievably smooth and soft. They are like buttery soft. Um, the material almost feels like the Lululemon running short, um, which is, those are really expensive. Do not buy those. Um, I think these were maybe 20 bucks and I think I had them on sale and a coupon code. So overall loving these from Phil Rich, huge fan, 10 out of 10. Let's see some overalls. Then my last item, I am probably the most excited about this. Um, this also comes from Phil Rich and this is from the brand Black Label. And these are called High Rise Short Alls. And this is a size, these are mediums as well. So keep in mind I am 5'8 and I weigh about 150 pounds. Um, so they have these buttons on the side. So these all have, you can open, close these, whatever. And I'd say this is probably a three and a half inch inseam. So definitely a lot of coverage, already a little bit distressed on the bottom. So I would say just be a little bit careful if you don't want these distressed anymore, wash them inside of a garment bag. Um, real pockets, very important. We know that we never see those on women's clothing. And then this is all totally adjustable and it has a real front pocket. I wanted to find a pair of these so badly last summer, I could not find them anywhere. So let's try them on and see if they fit. Is this my favorite purchase ever? Maybe. I am definitely a denim shorts girl. I love wearing denim shorts in the summer. These are really stretchy. They have a lot of movement. I am wearing a medium. Keep in mind, I am five foot eight, weigh around 150 pounds. These have a ton of stretch. I definitely wouldn't go down a size. I'd say these are very true to size, um, but definitely lots of give, lots of room for packing away Memorial Day barbecues and all that good stuff. I think these are really fun with a tall boot. Again, I explained earlier, I like to break up the length of my leg just because I personally like it better that way. I think these would be even really fun for doing garden chores in with maybe a tall rubber boot and a bright color like a yellow or a pink or a hunter green. Um, now I have these with a long sleeve right now because that's what I was already wearing. But I think this with like a really frilly, really lacy top underneath could honestly even dress these up a little bit and maybe a fun little pastel uh, flat or a mule, something fun like that, or even a platform sandal, which is one of my favorites. I honestly, this is the best purchase I think for upcoming spring I have made. I love these. I'll be wearing these everywhere. Prepare to see these in every craft video and shop with me. I am totally obsessed. I have to buy all the overalls now. This is my favorite. I think I said everything is my favorite. I think these are actually my favorite. Um, and just to show you how big the pockets are, um, I would put my phone in a pocket, but I'm recording with it. So what do I have that's big? Um, okay, crafters, we all know how big a ribbon spool is. This is a Hobby Lobby six yard spool. Fits perfectly in your back pocket. Fits perfectly in your front pocket. Fits great in your pouch pocket. Winning. Real pockets, comfortable denim, American made. We cannot beat it. So I'd like to say a huge thank you if you stayed this long, saw all these fun finds. I will link all of the businesses below 
and let them know in the comments that Jess from the Seasonal Storm sent you or Jess from Storm in a Saddle on Instagram sent you and I would greatly appreciate it um, and I can't I, I love these this is fantastic I'm so excited for spring and I hope that you guys are getting ready for spring stay warm this winter and I'll see you in the next one